Kwa mtazamaji hii ni Citizen X makala ya Kiswahili tukiendelea na kukuletea mfululizo wa taarifa kadri zinavyochipuka kutoka kila pembe ya nchi haswa haswa tukiangazia kuapishwa kwa magavana kufuatia ushindi wao kwenye uchaguzi mkuu uliokamilika wiki iliyopita. Leo mbali na taarifa za kuapishwa kwa magavana kadhaa pia kuna maadhimisho ya kifo cha mwanzilishi wa taifa mzee Jomo Kenyatta maadhimisho ambayo yamefanyika katika kaburi lake alikozikwa katika majengo ya bunge hapa Nairobi. Pia tutakuwa na taarifa za kuapishwa kwa Gavana Hassan Joho wa Mombasa na Gavana Joyce Laboso wa Bomet na pia kwa uh, Gavana Anne Waiguru wa Kirinyaga. Moja kwa moja tunakwenda county number 1 Mombasa ambapo uh, kuapishwa kwa Gavana Hassan Joho kunaendelea kwa sasa ambapo viongozi kadhaa wa NASA wamehudhuria kiwemo uh, Raila Odinga. With your support, we will achieve more than we banked for. I pledge my unswerving devotion to your cause and that of ensuring that Governor Hassan Joho delivers. Together, we shall deliver. To my colleagues in the county government, We are called to serve. The people of Mombasa have expressed confidence in Governor Hassan Joe in the numbers. It is our duty to fulfill each and all their ambitions. The people are the fuel that drives our agenda. We the public servants are the hands that make their wishes come true i am certain that the range of capabilities and resources available in mombasa we can deliver ladies and gentlemen already the groundwork has been laid the foundations of take off into the realms of a modern and prosperous Mombasa are laid were laid in the first term of the county government there are lessons to draw from and most of all we already have a blueprint to show us the way together with our manifesto the Mombasa vision 2035 will guide us into the future we desire with the active participation of the people civil society and the private sector we can chart the waters as a teacher i am very passionate about education and i believe that education is a very essential key in unlocking great opportunities tapping into the potential of ICT for the modernization of our education and training remains a top priority of our government our goal is to make our graduates more employable stimulate entrepreneurship and foster innovation through entrepreneurship education that shall equip our youth with the uh, practical skills knowledge attitudes that allow them to innovate with our support in infrastructure of the county revolving fund we hope to have a more enterprising youth citizenry and employment shall be history as i conclude let me note that devolution offers a new range of possibilities that were hitherto unachievable we have the opportunity to collaborate with local institutions in order to develop solutions to the challenges facing us 
we hope to collaborate with local universities, the neighboring county governments, and the business sector to address issues such as water, waste management, transport, and mobility. Many of these issues are already captured in great detail in our Mombasa Vision 2035 and the Jumuiya Ya County Zapwani Initiative which hopes to tap into the advantages in the region. Again, I say to you, we the workers of the county government of Mombasa must deliver. The people are waiting on us. Governor Joe, you have my hand. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to work with you and for the people of Mombasa. Asante sana, Governor. Asante ni sana watu wa Mombasa. Tumevulia shati kazi hii. May God bless you all. Asante sana. Now, I want to take this opportunity I want to take this opportunity to invite the Governor of Kilifi, His Excellency Governor Kingi, my namesake, to give brief remarks. Sante, karibu. Mombasa, 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 oh yeah! Mombasa TV! Kwa niaba ya wakazi wa kilifi, kwa niaba ya familia yangu, kwa niaba ya ujumbe wote wa kilifi ambao uko hapa hivi leo, ningependa kuchukua fursa hii kumkongole kakangu na rafiki yangu mkubwa Sultan wa Jiji na Jimbo la Mombasa Ndugu yangu najua umepitia mengi na hilo siambiwi manake hayo yote tumepitia sote Lakini kama tujuavyo mti Kirinyaga anwaiguru wa kila kiapo hapo cha kuchukua tamu za uongozi wa kaunti hiyo angalau sauti ya kipaza sauti alichokuwa kitumia haikukuwa nzuri sana lakini tumeweza kuona kwamba ameweza kula kiapo na sasa anatia saini uh, ile certificate ya kuonyesha kwamba yeye ndio governa wa kaunti ya Kirinyaga hiyo ni anwaiguru akipewa jina la utani la minji minji tunarifua kwamba ile ndio jina lake la utani minji minji ni anweguru anatia saini hapo certificate zile za kuonyesha kwamba yeye ndiyo governor wa Kirinyaga uh, baada ya kula kiapo kumbuka kaunti hiyo kulikuwa na kinyanganyiro uh, cha magavana kadhaa waliokuwa wakipigania kiti hicho akiwemo bwana Ndavi ambaye alikuwa ni governor wa zamani uh, na viongozi wengine mbalimbali mbali ambao waliweza 
Na uh, kwamba naibu wa rais William Ruto anahudhuria kuapishwa huko kwa Anne Waiguru katika kaunti hiyo ya Kirinyaga. Tutaweza kupata fursa nadhani baadaye kuweza kumuona naibu wa rais kama ataweza kutoa hotuba ya kuhudhuria kwa kuapishwa kwa Anne Waiguru. Kinyang'anyiro hicho pia kulikuwa na Martha Karua Uh, katika kinyang'anyiro cha ugavana wa Naivasha uh, wa, wa Kirinyaga kwa mradi kulikuwa pia na Martha Karua kulikuwa na gavana anaondoka Joseph Ndavi ambapo ameweza anwaguru ameweza kuangusha wale wapinzani wengine na kuweza kuibuka mshindi katika uchaguzi mkuu uliokamilika wiki iliyopita. Kaunti ya Kirinyaga ni kaunti nambari 20 kulingana na uh, katiba na ni kaunti yenye utajiri mkubwa wa kilimo cha chai na kahawa. Na pia vile vile ikiwa iko karibu sana na ule mlima Kenya. Kwa ni kaunti yenye utajiri wa utalii na utajiri wa kilimo kama tunavyoweza kuona hapo bado tuko Kirinyaga makaratasi yakitiwa saini certificate zile kuonyesha kwamba amekubali ama sasa yeye ndio governor wa kaunti ya Kirinyaga ana Waiguru baada ya kuwashinda wapinzani wake akina Martha Karua na Joseph Ndafi aliyekuwa anashikilia wadhifa huo kabla ya uchaguzi mkuu. Gavana Ndathi Joseph Ndathi anaondoka yupo pia katika amehudhuria uh, kuapishwa kwa Anne Waiguru ili kuweza kumkabidhi uh, zile wanaita instruments of power, yani vile vifaa ambavyo vinaonyesha wazi kwamba sasa wewe ndio governor unaweza kutawala kaunti hiyo. Huyo ni jaji aliyesimamia kuapishwa huko ama kula huko kwa kiapo akiweza kutia saini karatasi hizo na kuthibitisha kwamba ni kweli huyo ni governor an waiguru Kumbuka waiguru alikuwa waziri wa ugatuzi uh, kabla ya kuondolewa mamlakani kufuatia kashfa ya shirika la vijana la NYS ambapo alikabiliwa na mashtaka ya ufisadi lakini baada ya hapo akaamua kwamba atasimama katika kiti cha ugavana kaunti ya Kirinyaga na hatimaye leo ameweza kuangusha wale vigogo wengine na kuweza kuchukua hatamu za uongozi wa kaunti hiyo Kumbuka sherehe hizi zinahudhuriwa pia na naibu wa rais William Ruto ambaye amewasili muda mfupi tu uliopita kabla ya sisi kuweza kuingia hapa studio. Anakabidhiwa certificate yake hapo Anwe Guru pia na mkono na jaji aliyemwapisha. Huku wapiga picha wakichukua picha hiyo ya kihistoria kabisa sababu tukio hili haliwezi likarudiwa tena hadi baada ya miaka mitano kwa hiyo kikosa ile nafasi ya kuchukua picha ile basi na maana ndiyo hutaweza kuipata tena na manaambiwa waonyeshe watu kwamba sasa wewe ndiyo governor wa kaunti ya Kirinyaga ani waiguru ambaye jina lake la utani ni minji minji uh, hapo tunaona vipeperushi vile vya maua kuashiria kwamba ni sherehe na mbwembwe zilizotanda katika kaunti ya Kirinyaga. Anasalimia naibu wa rais William Ruto na viongozi wengine walioko katika jukwaa. Na tunaona pale
everything for purposes of administration of the of properties. pita akila kiapo pia cha kuchukua hatamu za uongozi wa kaunti hiyo wakiapishwa hapo na jaji kama alivyokula kiapo governor Anwe Guru na yeye pia na mwanasalimiana na uh, governor Anwe Guru ambaye ni mmoja wapo kati ya magavana watatu wa kike waliochaguliwa huko nchini kuna kuna Anwe Guru kuna uh, Charity Ngilu wa Kitui na kuna Joyce Laboso wa Bomet. Hao ndio magavana watatu waliobahatika kati ya magavana 47 walioweza kuchaguliwa katika uchaguzi mkuu uliopita. Kumbuka katika uchaguzi uliopita hakukuwa na gavana hata mmoja mwanamke. Naarifiwa kwamba tunaweza kwenda Mombasa tunaweza kwenda Mombasa kupata na ujiri katika kuapishwa kwa governor Hassan Joho ambapo kwa sasa anazungumza ama anatoa hotuba yake Asante Likoni Asante Likoni Nyali Asante Nyali Kisauni 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 asante kisauni I stand before you Mombasa hoye I stand here humble with absolute overwhelming gratitude You have once again put your trust in me in my hands in the hands of a once young boy from a very humble home who did not believe in his wildest dreams that this kind of life was possible but you the people of Mombasa made this possible this victory is not mine alone this victory is dedicated to the children of this nation to all of you each and every one of you who has ever had a doubt in your mind of your greatness and capacity to succeed know that i was you and this is me now my career in the field of serving my people is, dri is driven by the dreams in your hearts and your belief in me has moved me ways and widely I can safely say to you my people now that you believe in me in the way I believe in you and my journey will be your journey our mother Mombasa continues to be a major contributor to the greatness of Kenya but has unfortunately been exploited and treated poorly over the years it is no secret that Mombasa is ready to take off if only we could pull together we are all stakeholders in the growth and the management of our affairs we have taken in so much pain both tangibly and figuratively but over four and a half years we have fought and faced for the dignity and the well-being of Mombasa and its inspiring people 
we have worked tirelessly side by side with many talented, intelligent individuals from different walks of life, different backgrounds, every single day to undo all the injustice that has been thrown onto our county. And there have been obstacles. From port activities been moved to Naivasha. I stood firmly against it to protect your jobs. I defended with all my might the squatters to be granted land as everyone has a constitutional right to land. I withstood humiliation. My accounts been frozen, bodyguards withdrawn, armed forces ordered to intimidate me. I have been forced in and out of courts for the past four years. All this and more would have taken a toll on me. But the strength and the perseverance and the undying power of my people reflected on me. My people of Mombasa, you have kept me standing steady, always hopeful and unfazed. I did it all for you. I strive to be your Simba because the Simba protects the jungle. And I promise you with all the witnesses that I will not stop protecting you and this beautiful county of Mombasa. My chosen style of leadership is very much influenced by the Enlightenment era and the idea that being an effective leader within a democracy is ensuring that the citizens and the constitution is protected and uplifted above all else. I believe strongly in letting my people know that criticizing an administration is not being a rebel, but in turn practicing your constitutional rights. It is mandatory to know that patriotism is not about blindly following, but about questioning with the intent to protect the people of your nation as a whole. Moving forward, my team and I have set in stone goals for Mombasa to thrive and continue to grow. We plan to focus on youth employment and empowerment through creating opportunities that will encourage talent, entrepreneurship and rehabilitation. We will also not forget that the environment in which we live reflects the way we live. And so, with that said, maintaining and managing sustainable environments both for the comfort and the health of our people is crucial. We will continue to invest in the drastic improvement of security within our county to ensure that everyone feels safe and secure. Everything we do and the processes we follow shall be led by our constitution and nothing else. I thank God today for recognizing my intention, for keeping me patient and for always protecting me. Mombasa, I cannot thank you enough for your unwavering support. I plan to serve you for the next five years with everything I have in me to ensure prosperity of our home. I shall then return to you to seek your mandate to vie for the presidency of Kenya. I will ask the people of this great country to judge me truly by the content of my character and not along the tumultuous line of tribal divide, religion, or anything that has caused catastrophes across our country. A courageous pioneer must come forward from amongst us in order to turn this around for a better and more united nation. I will present myself to be that person. This ambition is deeply rooted in the notion that I find to be ever true 
that all our children, girls and boys, no matter what tribe, what religion and social standing can be the forward-thinking leaders of this country. I believe viciously and irrevocably in the potential of our youth and this belief will guide me in my leadership. Mombasa, thank you for choosing me to be your faithful leader. Asanteni Mombasa, God bless Mombasa, God bless Kenya. Now let me say that I want to appreciate Your Excellency, Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga. You have been here. Governor wa Mombasa Hassan Joho akila kiapo na kuweza kuzungumza na wananchi wakati wa kuapishwa kwake. Hiyo ilikuwa ni taarifa ya moja kwa moja kutoka Mombasa. Mtazamaji hapa studioni naarifiwa kwamba tutapumzika kidogo kabla kurejea na makala ya Citizen Extra. <tune>